Number 18. You drive 7.5 kilometers in a straight line in a direction of 15 degrees east of north. Find the distances you would have to drive straight east and then straight north to arrive at the same point. All right. So uh, first, let's just simply draw a coordinate system here. So let's draw a y-axis and an x-axis. And now, beginning at the origin, okay, beginning at the origin here, Let's now draw the vector that they're describing. So it says you drive 7.5 kilometers in a straight line in a direction 15 degrees east of north. So here's north, here's east. So they're saying that you're gonna drive at an angle of 15 degrees north of east. Excuse me, east of north. They would be two different things. It sounds like it'd be the same, but they're, they're two different things. So it says east of north, so that would be right about here, okay? And the 15 degrees is right here, 15. Okay, that's east of north, right? We're going east of north. Okay, so this vector now has a value of 7.50 uh, kilometers. And now what they want us to do is they want us to find the uh, distances you would have to drive straight east and then straight north um, to arrive well, it says find the distances you would have to drive, yeah, straight east and then straight north to arrive at the same point. Okay, so let me just actually, because I realize I'm going to draw this, let me just move this over to the other side. So this is 7.50 uh, kilometers. And now I'm going to draw, they want to know how far east do we have to drive? So that would be this component, okay? That basically has, that's an x value, right, and it's positive. And then they want to know... Uh, how far north? Okay. And this would now be the Y component or the north component. All right, and this X was the east component. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, one thing is, right, if we know, remember, this angle in here between the two axes are, is 90 degrees. So if you know that this component or this piece of the angle is 15, and the total here is 90, then how do we figure this part out? Right, just 90 minus 15. So that works out to be 75. And that kind of looks like a 75 degree angle. All right, perfect. So now um, we have basically everything we need. All right, so let's try to find um, this X component here. How do we do that? Well, we know the hypotenuse value of the triangle. We know this angle and we're looking for the adjacent side relative to that angle. So what trigonometric function? That's right, the cosine. So cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Cosine of 75 degrees will equal um, the positive x value over 7.50. Now all you have to do is just do a cross multiplication. So it's cosine of 75 times 7.5 works out to be about 1.94. So 1.94, and that is in uh, kilometers, because those are the units. Great, so that's my x component here. All right, let's do the same thing now, but let's do it for y. Okay, how do we solve for y? Well, we know the hypotenuse, we know this angle, and we're looking for the side opposite of that angle. Therefore, that sounds like sine. So let's write it out. Sine of theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Sine of 75 is equal to the y value over 7.50. So let's just take out the handy dandy calculator again. So sine of 75 times 7.5. And it comes out to be 7.24. So we got 7.24 kilometers. And that would be then the y component. So you would have to drive straight east. 1.94 kilometers, and then north, 7.24 kilometers. Okay, great. And then it says, letter B, it says, show that you still arrive at the same point if the east and north legs are reversed. I mean, yeah, right? It, I'm not even going to... The math is all going to work out to be the same, um, but the numbers will change slightly in terms of the angle. All right? So what they, what they want us to do now is they want us to instead now... Um, Go north first. Right, so actually, you know what? Let me just create a different coordinate system. Otherwise, I'm going to get too busy. So now um, we're still going to uh, 
go have an have an have a vector like this right at 15 degrees but now instead of driving east first we're going to drive uh, north first okay so let me uh, let me put that in black here so I'm going to try to hopefully you can see my pen there okay I tried to move it a little bit to the side but that would be the the north vector first and then we're going to travel east from there so this way okay so this is my x and and this is my y so remember the resultant vector is still the same 7.50 uh, kilometers so let's first solve for y how do i solve for y well i know the hypotenuse of the triangle i know this angle and i'm looking for the adjacent side relative to that angle therefore it sounds to me like it should be a cosine so cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse cosine of 15 now is equal to uh, y over 7.50. And now y would simply be, just take cosine of 15, multiply it by 7.5. And it comes out to 7.24. Wow. The same exact thing we just found over here. And that should be the case, right? Let me just set x up. So if we got to solve for x, right, here's the hypotenuse, here's the angle. We're looking for the side opposite the angle. Therefore, it would be a sine calculation now. All right, so sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Um, then you have sine of 15 is equal to the x value over 7.50. And when you calculate it out, you're going to get one point. Let me change that. It looks like a 7, 1.94 kilometers. So we just proved it. doesn't matter if you go east first and then north or north first and then east. All right, we got the same values. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please do remember to subscribe. And I will... Talk to you soon. I was going to say I'll see you soon, but I won't see you. I'll talk to you. All right.